Hello everyone, this is not a park egg. It has been a while that I posted a review and here you can see the first package having fragile on it. Actually, you have to read it like this, of course, but it would be easier for me to hold it up like that because we have all the way from America. Yeah, because I had to ask somebody to get it from me and I We'll give a special thanks to Colin Pratt for this one. And here we have some dinosaur, a dinosaur, a feathered dinosaur. Look at those little, little feathers. Mononychus. Then we have a second one that I miraculously picked up here in Holland. And that is, oh, do I have it? Yeah, I do have it here. Is Colurus. Why is it miraculous that I found it here in Holland? Well, it's the only time I saw it in a store, so I picked it up right away. And yeah, well, yeah, there, there you have it. A uh, rare specimen in the Netherlands. Seems to be we are officially now the Netherlands. So don't say Holland. Call us the Netherlands. Well, then we have a non-metal related dinosaur goodie and that is this one yeah freaks bamboo brotromo um how am i going to translate it in english a bamboo uh, lunchbox and it says hungry on it so i guess this one is hungry maybe the triceratops as well very cool Freak vonk a herpetologist like this guy. Um, Freak vonk doesn't really look like this action figure, but you know, just for the idea, Freak vonk is someone who is not fearing any animal. He's just you know grabbing them, catching them. Um, <laughs> well, he's he's quite an amusing character. He's been bitten by a shark, by the way, and I think he fully recovered of that. It has um, a T-Rex, a Triceratops, and a Stegosaurus. And, oh, of course, a Brachiosaurus. Well, the legacy Brachiosaurus of Mattel hasn't arrived in Holland yet, but it's coming to Germany on bücher.de, Deutschland. You can already pre-order this big, huge, colossal Brachiosaurus. You have to take away this plastic bandage before you can open Freaks. This is his handwriting, I guess. Lunchbox, there it is. Well, very nice. Enough space for a few sandwiches and an egg or whatever you want to put in it. Or you can even put in a dinosaur. To show to your friends at school or whatever <laughs> or at work why not look well um that's that let's have a look at the mattel dinosaurs now this is mononychus a small dinosaur and this is another dinosaur colurus and it also looks like it has a little bit of feathering on its head. I'm going to open them, but first I'm going to watch the back of the box. You have Echo, the Velociraptor, you have also a Dimorphodon, Colurus of course, and the Herrerasaurus, the green one. I do have the red one. The code for the people who want to buy Colurus and the other code for the people who wants to buy Mononychus. Funny thing about Mononychus is that it says new. Let's have a look at Mononychus first. Well, that was easy, it fell out very quickly. Mononychus of Dino Rivals almost looks like an ostrich. Look at the feathered tail here the feathers on the tail and the feathers on the arm arms and those yellow feet paws 
in the hat it's almost like a cassowary, only the bump on the hat misses. Wow. And if we get it closer, you can see that it has claws. One claw, so two claws in total. And the head is all, all, also very detailed. It has those spickles, those well, what birds like or cassowaries also have. You see? It's almost like it's a bird's beak, only it has serrated teeth. Well, you don't want to put your fingers in that. Look at the, um, the yellow paws. Definitely looks like a birdish dinosaur. It can bend its uh, head like this. It can also move the claws like it's flying. No, it's too small to fly. In the movie, Mononychus is also present in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in the museum at Lockwood's estate. Well done by Mattel, these feathers. It's really, it really looks detailed. Also the scales on the, the feet. And here you have for the Primal Attack app, the DNA code and Jurassic World logo. Again, underneath the, uh, the arms, the feathers and the one claw. Here's just an interesting detail that I just noticed you can see the the claw on the inside of the foot and maybe you can see what I mean by that head no it's more like Komodo dragon uh, scales or bumps I don't know it looks good it really looks good the only remark I would make is that beak cannot open and maybe that's for the best otherwise you would have had a uh, well I don't know if there will be any space for it and this will be bigger or maybe a little bit out of place look at that eye it's like staring it's like watching you and now we're going on to the other dinosaur of today and that's Kalurus and this one also came out very smooth, smoothly. Look at the coloration and the white. I like it. I definitely like it. Looks like a dangerous creature, but I, th I believe, in fact, it wasn't really that dangerous. But I have to look it all up. Wasn't a really huge dinosaur either. Uh, paint application is nice. The blue, the red. Only the claws are still white and also here on the feet here you have the primal attack DNA code for the app for the game um, it can open its beak and you can move the arms both of them and of course also the feet same goes by the way for Mononychus look at that it really looks like a bird running. <laughs> well, we're heading off to the other side of the world, and you have birds there that only have feet and no wings. Anyway, that's just side information. Look, it's, it's running very fast. I don't know if it could, but it looks like a nice addition to the other dinosaurs of Mattel. Nice addition to the dinosaur are of course, is of course, the Dino Rivals card. Here is Kalurus. And there we have the card of Mononychus. Oh, look at that. They're not really that smart. Anyway, haha. <laughs> I have to look it all up in the scientific books about it, which I do have, by the way. Jack Horner's Dinosaurs. Look at that. I also have Quest 
for African dinosaurs by some Mr. Jacobs. Well, I may review that one day. In my opinion, Mattel did a good job again with these two dinosaurs, Mononikas and Kalurus. They look great, they look detailed, they look colourful, especially of course this one. This was not a park egg with the Mattel dinosaurs of today. See you next time after my trip. Goodbye.